there are two ways to manage and create your rubrics. The first way is to go into your assignments and actually add it to a single assignment. The other way is to go into your outcomes and create a rubric that you can use for multiple assignments. So let's go through both of those. If I go into assignments, I already created an assignment here called a rubric assignment just so we know what it's for. Um, if you go down to the bottom, it'll say add rubric. So you have to create the assignment, save it, and then you can add the rubric. And we will name it rubric 1. And it automatically fills in a uh, criteria. Let's go ahead and find others that we've actually imported. You see here these are the outcomes we imported earlier. I'm going to pick the one that I created. And then I'm going to also add a common core standard, which I think I put one in here. We'll do literature, okay, ideas and details, three, and it has the description here. And so now we have a rubric. Unfortunately, some of the standards come up with just the number label rather than the full description. But you can view, view it here um, uh, to double check your, your work. Now, I don't want to use this one because this one won't give me any data back um, when I want to do uh, a standards analysis. So I'm going to get rid of this because I can always create these uh, uh, in, in a way that I can analyze the data later. Um, you can choose your options, and let's go ahead and create the rubric. So we have our first rubric created. Let's go ahead and go into the second option, which is going into outcomes now. This is where we imported our learning outcomes. If you go over here, it says manage rubrics. Now when you click that, you'll notice that the rubric we already created is here. So anything you create in an assignment will also appear here, but it's already attached to that assignment. So if we'd like to create some generic rubrics that we'd like to use in multiple assignments, then we can add that here um, instead of on the individual assignment. So I'll go ahead and find a criteria, and this one is solely going to be creativity. And I'll, again, I'll get rid of this one because it won't tell, give me any data back. You can always use it, and it gives a score but it won't give you data back and we can show you that how to get that data later. And here we go. We have our two rubrics created. Now one more useful thing to know about rubrics is when you go to the assignments and you're ready to score, you can use SpeedGrader. So in SpeedGrader your students will appear here. Um, they would all appear in a row here or you can flip through each student by clicking the arrows. Now the nice thing about the rubric is if you say view rubric, it lets you click on each of the scores you, or you can manually enter them. So you see I just easily scored Armand here and it gives him our 8 points out of 10. 